Now it's time for the main event. And if you just so happen to click on this video, aside from the other ones, if you're new, you clicked on the best match so far in FWF. This match is good. Obito, Uchiha, Johnny Cage are challenging for Rock Lee's FWF Championship. The inaugural champion defending in a triple threat. He won the title in the multi-man match. Now he's defending it in a multi-man match. And this one has been building up since episode one. Actually, yeah, yeah, since episode one of uh, FWF. This is this is the culmination of everything that has happened between these three individuals. And you would think in a triple threat, you know, you might form some alliances every now and then. Maybe one guy's getting too hot. You might want to take him down and not. I don't think anybody in this match is going to team up. I don't think a single person in this match is going to team up. They are going to beat the hell out of each other until one of them is victorious. However, they, it is they decide to win because there are no disqualifications. There are no count-ups, but pins have to happen in the ring. Submissions have to happen in the ring. Nobody's going to interfere. Everyone's banned from ringside. This is a triple threat. Just these three men are going to be fighting. Johnny Cage got his opportunity. By defeating Rock Lee in a one-on-one -on -one match after Obito interfered, but Rock Lee kicked out, and Johnny Cage pretty much had to fight until Ob or until John or until Rock Lee couldn't go anymore. I'm sorry, I got all the names confused. I'm sorry. He had to beat him down until he couldn't go anymore. It was a great little underdog fight for Rock Lee, but in the end, Johnny Cage is too much for him to handle. Too hot to handle Johnny Cage. Then you have Obito Uchiha, who had to earn his match twice. Twice. Initially. He just wanted to be just him. But Cassie Cage got involved and helped him take out Rock Lee. So he felt like he owed Johnny Cage a favor. He gave Johnny Cage a favor by helping him get into the matchup. Johnny Cage helped Obito by having Superman hit him with a Supernova, aka the pedigree, on Obito in the middle of a match with Mike Guy. So it felt like Obito didn't earn it. So he always had to fight again to beat Mike Guy in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And he earned his shot here. In a tag team match, Johnny Cage and Obito couldn't work together because of that falling out that they had. We all knew it wasn't going to last, but it was just a matter of how it was going to end. Johnny Cage certainly took no time to burn bridges with Obito. They lost to Rock Lee and Mike Guy. Then, Obito and Johnny Cage, right after the match, beat the hell out of each other, with Obito coming out on top. Everyone's got a bit of momentum going into this one. The champion, though, perhaps with the least bit of momentum, as yes, he has beaten Johnny Cage, but he has never faced Obito one on one. But he did pin Obito in the tag team matchup. There's a lot of combustible elements here. Combustible elements. We don't know who's going to win. But we will see. That's 100% for sure. There must be a winner in this triple threat. Here we go. Obito. Oh, Johnny tried to catch him, but Obito was too fast and he drilled Rock Lee. He was faster than Rock Lee had anticipated. Now Johnny Cage and Obito continue where they left off at the end of episode 5 as they brawl and Obito has the advantage with this reverse power bomb. There it is. What is this? Form shot, body shot, Obito with the combo. Wombo combo. Oh no, no, it's blocked. Kick to the inside of the knee. Going against a Taijutsu specialist and he's looking to put that some of that on display. Gets a nice backflip into a back suplex. Went for the Bukaki knee. Not going to get it. Instead gets caught. Torture rack bomb. Johnny Cage for a pin? No. He doesn't go for one. There are no rope breaks in this match either. Big back suplex. One. It's only a one. Going for the legs. Roll up here. Obito trying to steal it. Rock Lee kicks out. Obito has been an opportunist in this one so far. And he gets drilled with a lariat from Johnny Cage. And now it's Johnny Cage versus Rock Lee. Both competitors one apiece against each other. Rock Lee winning their first encounter. Johnny Cage winning their second encounter as I described earlier. Big shot to the face. Trying to destroy my man's sunglasses. Come on now. I know he's a douchebag for wearing sunglasses inside, but he looks sick with it, you know? You can't get a pair of those, by the way. I don't. We don't have merch here at FWF, unfortunately. Obito lurking, and I don't think Rock Lee saw him. And he gets hit in the back with a kendo stick. The lack of awareness from the champion, that did not help him, that's for sure. Thrown to the outside now. Obito. Kick to the gut on Johnny Cage. Scoops him up and hits. 
an apron powerbomb. Underneath the ring now, as Johnny Cage torments Rock Lee, stumping the hand. Obito with the chair and Rock Lee. Actually, Johnny Cage able to stop Obito from behind, don't, going for that double waist slot. Obito counters. He goes for a back suplex, Johnny Cage counters. And lands on top of Rock Lee in the process. Kicks to the gut. Moonlight drive. That was a nasty net breaker. Can he go for a pin? Oh, no. He's got him set up perfectly, though. Here it comes. The flying goat. That diving headbutt. Got it. Oh, nice. Went for a right hook. He got caught instead into the genjutsu. And there are no rope breaks. Johnny Cage is escape on his own because he just took out Rock Lee. We could have a new champion. No, Johnny Cage escapes. It's going to take a bit more damage to keep Johnny Cage in that hole. Oh, went for the snapshot super kick. Nobody home. Wait a minute. Look at the awareness of Obito, though. I think it's that Rene Sharingan thing he's got going on. Or, you know, it's the Renegon and the Sharingan that he has. Or the Kamui. I'm sorry. He has. He's going after Johnny Cage. And he's able to be very perceptive in this match keeping track of both of his opponents and practically dominating this matchup thus far. I would say for Obito, I think it would be 50% of the match has been him and 25% to Johnny Cage and 25% to Rock Lee. Thrown now into the barricade. Went for a Larian and Rock Lee able to counter. Now the champion looks to come back into this matchup and the fans getting hot. He's thrown into the ring. He's forgetting about someone and he's learning. The kid is learning. Johnny Cage is getting some time to rest. He's not going to rest while Rock Lee's around as he punishing Rock Lee. Angry with Johnny Cage for using his own daughter. Using his daughter as a token to get a championship opportunity. It's disgusting. Caught Kamui for Rock Lee. He took out Johnny Cage. Now he's on his own. One, two. It's a strange risk that you take in these triple threats. Yes, you want to take out both of your opponents. You got to get one out of the ring and keep one inside. But if you lose track of one, you could be in trouble. But if you go after one to make sure you keep track, you can take your eye off of the other one who is a bit more dangerous. Johnny Cage and Rock or an Obito again going at it. Stumped to the abdomen. Obito going for the legs, dragging it back to the center for what? Oh, shock therapy. Rock Lee nails the shotgun drop kick. Down goes Obito, rolling to the outside. Rock Lee caught, thrown onto the apron. Johnny Cage is there. Overhand. This looks like trouble. Backdrop driver on the apron. Horrible landing for Rock Lee. Johnny Cage got to get him back in the ring, and he's trying to. Oh, wait a minute. Skull crushing finale on the floor as well. Now you get him back in the ring. How is Rock Lee fighting back? The champion. Thrown into the ring, the fighting spirit. Wait a minute. Johnny Cage is in. Wait a minute. Obito is up and Johnny Cage goes after him. Catches him with a sucker punch. Obito, form smash, stuns Johnny Cage. Scooped up. What is this? That was an eight second ride. He told me that would be called the Juby Bomb from here on out. Up on the shoulders. Another one for Rock Lee. Both competitors are down. Obito with the back to back to back, like he's dropping albums. Two, and he almost had a three. All competitors in the ring as we reset this triple threat. Wait a minute. Oh, wow. Nails the Scottish sickle. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with the terminology, a reset is not restarting the matchup. It's essentially everyone's back to their feet, and now someone has to take control once again. And he just nailed it. Johnny Cage just took control and just took the title with a snapshot super kick to Obito's chin. Obito kicks out. Obito's fellow Uchiha, Sasuke, in action earlier against Spider Man. I won't spoil the results, but that match. It's quite, quite the uh, display of agility from both competitors. Rock Lee helping Obito escape the figure four. Obito might have tapped had Rock Lee not been there. I haven't really seen Obito deal with a lot of submissions, but we've seen him deal with this before. Nailed with the reverse Lotus. 
Oh no, and a Bukaki knee for good measure. And doesn't go for a pin? He's gonna do another one? Come on, do a deadlifting one. Oh, it's a power bomb. Well, you know what? It's still quite effective. That's some bonus damage right there. And he hooks the outside leg. One, two. Oh man, Mastery would have been jumping for joy. My guy would have been losing his mind if Rockley would have won right there. If Rockley wins at all, he'll lose his mind. Rockley isn't a leader, but Johnny Cage and Obito are leaders of their respective groups. Going for that spine buster it doesn't work. Johnny Cage, the leader of the elitist, and Obito, the leader of Unprincipled. What a lariat dropping Johnny Cage. He gets back up. Jawbreaker. Oh my goodness. Nice. Single leg drop kick gets rid of the champion. Obito on his own. Crucifix bomb. Obito squirms out. Nice. Into a net breaker. Where's Obito going? Middle rope. Obito gonna fly. Oh my goodness. We've seen everyone else fly. Aside from the high flying champion. Oh, that was really. That was insanely close. That was insanely close. He almost won the best moonsault ever. How poetic. DDT from Rock Lee. And the champ is in control. Look at Rock Lee go. That was insane. Handspring backflip into a head scissors. Takes down Johnny Cage. Oh, he went for the dynamic entry. It got avoided. Now he avoids... Obito nails him with the Lariat. Johnny Cage in trouble now with Rock Lee. From behind. Backdrop driver and a nip up. Rock Lee's getting crazy. Got the arm. Stretches it. Tears it out of its socket perhaps. Could go right into a submission if he wanted to. Oh, he didn't. And I don't think Rock Lee's trying to win right here. I think that was strategic right there. I think he's forcing him to use the shoulder. Making it harder to escape the reverse Lotus if he ever has to use it again on Johnny Cage. Shots to the back now. Kick to the body. Northern Lights suplex takes down Johnny Cage. Obito goes after Rock Lee. He gets caught. Exploder Plex. Both competitors are down for the champion. Obito's out of the picture again. Hook in the outside leg. Two. It's not enough. Oh, went for a kick to the back. Nice avoidance. Reverse DDT, incredible. And Johnny Cage once again finds himself one-on-one -on -one with one of the competitors. I think Johnny Cage has been in the most situations like this. He has been very good at keeping himself in the ring and keeping someone out. Oh, but it's broken up. It's broken up. I would say he's been better at ring positioning, ring awareness. So is Obito, who was able to break up that pin. And they go back and forth once again. Now it's Obito looking for a power bomb on Johnny Cage. And he got it. Rock Lee is irresponsive at the moment. And he almost lost his championship. He is still out cold and he is bleeding a lot too. I don't know if you guys can see it. But there's blood pouring from the top of Rock Lee's head. It's kind of disgusting. Kamui lands. And now Rock Lee, <coughs> Obito, and Johnny Cage are all bleeding. Roll up now. That was really close. I really need some water because these guys have been going at it for so long. My voice, my voice is getting raspy. My throat's getting incredibly dry. Rock Lee able to stay alive. Obito almost got hit with another reverse Lotus, but he's able to escape at this time. He's figured out a counter for it, and that means trouble for Rock Lee, who gets nailed with that gunslinger. Shots in the back. Overhand. Skull crushing finale. Obito goes down. Johnny Cage with a stomp. Not going to go for a pin. That's interesting. Well, he wants to punish Obito for putting him through an announce table on episode 5 of WF. Might be trying to get a little bit of revenge, a little salt in the wounds before he pours all the salt into the eyes of Johnny, or into the eyes of Obito who dodges the snapshot super kick. Counter by Johnny Cage as they go back and forth. Shot to the head. Backdrop driver again on the apron. Obito's out of it. It's just Rock Lee and Johnny Cage now. Can they settle the score? A rubber match between the two. Caught from behind. 
little do si do before finally someone gets in the ring. And there's a kill switch. And I'm prettier. And almost a three count. That almost does not count. He's going back up for this again. I don't think this is a great idea from Johnny Cage, but he's going to go for it. No, instead, goes for a moonsault. Oh, and it's countered, though. He took too much time. He's a bit tired. Meanwhile, Rock Lee and Obito could probably go on forever with all their chakra in the corner. He took out Rock Lee with the Kamui. He's going for the infinite Tsukuyomi. Got it. One, two. You've got to be kidding. you got to be kidding. Everyone's kicking out of everything in this one. Like, what else can you do? Throw the book at him? Throw him in jail for still in the show? This is ridiculous. Into the corner. Over the top rope. Oh, and got countered with the Gamaguri. Stunned in the ring now is Obito. Johnny Cage. Moonlight drive on Obito. Looking at Rock Lee now. Oh, he was going for a snapshot super kick, but he got hit with a buckle exploder. Nice. Nails it. Dynamic entry. Into the cover. Wait, what are you doing? Go for the cover. Or go for a moonsault. That could work too. Oh, no. Obito caught him. The recovery. Small package roll up. Johnny Cage is in there to break it up. Two. He was trying to get there, but luckily for him, Rockley kicked out on his own merit. Caught from behind. Dragon suplex from Obito. So much offense from everyone in this match. The fans are standing on their feet as the match continues. They don't even know if it's going to end yet. Why are they standing up? Thrown now to the outside. Rockley looking to capture their hearts and capture Obito's head with a torpedo. DDT. Obliterated. Kick to the gut. Once again, Obito's outside. Rock Lee and Johnny Cage are in. Johnny Cage counters Rock Lee. Hits him with the snapshot super kick. Obito is on the outside. And your new champion is not Johnny Cage. A reset again for the second time in this match. Oh, man. Dodges. Completely avoids the Bukaki knee. Oh, and gets Joe with a clothesline as Obito. Rock Lee mocks Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage says, okay, all right, all right, kid. Get hit with this brain buster then. I get why Rock Lee was doing that. He was kind of like, it's just me and you once again. And he got dropped for it. Feet on the ropes, but it's legal, but it's not enough. Brain buster. Got it. Oh, man. Scorpion kick on Obito. Rock Lee controlling the pace now, and it's only a matter of time before Rock Lee is victorious. Top rope, flying cross body to the floor. Probably an extremely unnecessary risk, but a successful one as he's on the outside with Obito. How much damage was done to himself? Johnny Cage looking to add more damage. Chair shot to the body. Johnny Cage gets caught by Rock Lee. Overhand by Rock Lee. Hidden Lotus on the floor. But you still got to get him in the ring. You still got to get him in the ring. Counter. Overhand. What is happening now? Oh, wow. What a roundhouse kick. Body shot. Kick to the gut. Thrown now. Wait a minute. Kick to the gut. Kick to the gut again. Blocked counter they're going back and forth and it's insane to me to watch brain buster again no counter by obito rock lee is on the outside and still down obito with the insult to injury nails it johnny cage is on his own with obito one on one center of the ring obito into the genjutsu again the ring positioning the very center Rockley's not there, and immediately Johnny Cage taps out. We have a new FWF champion, and his name is Obito Uchiha with the blood pouring down his face.
unprincipled just got a bit more valuable. A lot more valuable. Johnny Cage, Rock Lee, Obito put on a hell of a match. But it's not about putting on a great match. It's about those checks and championships at the end of the day. At the end of the day, it's about who's the champion. And right now it's Obito. And I gotta say, Obito controlled most of that match. And I think that's exactly why he won this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I don't really have much to say. I hope you guys enjoyed after we have Touchstone. The fans seem to be really upset about this, but I'll see you for the next episode.